Welcome to our website or channel. We appreciate you being here and taking the time to watch this. We appreciate your business. Anyway, these are just going to be some quick videos that I'm going to put up on what comes included. When you buy an Amazon Fire Stick from Turnkey IPTV and uh, the free apps that are on it. This first video here, we're going to go over just some basic settings. When you first get your Amazon Fire Stick from us in the mail and you plug it in to your HDMI outlet in your TV and make sure you have it you know, set on your remote for the proper HDMI output, the Fire Stick is going to prompt you to hook up to the network. So as you can see, I'm in settings now and this second icon down here is your network. So what you're going to do is you're going to connect to your Wi-Fi and it's going to prompt you for your connection name, the network name, and then your uh, password. Okay, so once that's done, then what's going to happen is the screen's going to pop up. Now this is a little different because, you know, our account's already set up. But a screen's going to pop up and it's going to ask you if you already have an Amazon account or if you're a new user. If you're a new user, um, go ahead and click on that and set up an Amazon account. Now that is going to be a free account and you need the free account with the Amazon Fire Stick in order for it to work. If you already have Amazon Prime, um, you'll, you'll get the shows that come on the Amazon Fire Stick. So basically the Fire Stick is designed by Amazon so they can sell their Amazon Prime service. Your Fire Stick will still work for the free apps and the premium apps we put on there, but you have to have a free account. So you're gonna see on the home screen, you're gonna see a ton of, as we scroll down here, now all this stuff down here is, is put on by Amazon, okay? So a lot of this will work with Amazon Prime and a lot of it will not work with a free account. But nonetheless, you need the free account in order for it to work. Now, let me press my home screen so I can get back to the menu on the top. Just, just a few things here. Um, you're going to be scrolling to the right all the way over to settings. So let's scroll over there. Okay, we've already discussed your, your network. Um, let me show you a couple things not to do. Under my Fire TV right here, at night you can press sleep right here to make it, you know, to turn it off, okay? And then the next day, whenever you want to play it again, you just push any button on the remote and um, it'll relaunch. Uh, what you never want to do is go down here and reset the factory defaults. If you do that, it'll basically wipe out all the aftermarket apps that we put on the Fire Stick that you ordered from us. It'll wipe them out and then all you'll have is the Amazon apps themselves. Okay, so please don't let young children play with the remote. Um, we do offer reprogramming services, but of course, you know, if you're not in our immediate area in Phoenix area, then you'd have to ship it back to us and, and there would be a fee to reprogram it. Okay. Now, every once in a while, if, if you're having issues, let's say you have a, a slow internet connection, you're, you're running into a lot of buffering issues, you're probably going to want to, we'll have a cleaning app on here. So it'll basically clear out your cache and all the memory and everything. And then you'll want to come in here and restart it. So you'll just press on restart. You'll Go to the left here to restart and then you'll launch that and it'll take about 30 to 45 seconds to reboot. Okay, so let's get out of here. Now applications is going to be, when you come into settings, it's going to be the fourth one over. You're going to be using this one a lot. So you'll click on applications, you'll come down here to manage installed applications. And you'll select that. Now you can see it's got apps on here. These are the free Amazon apps that come with Amazon. Okay, you got shopping, Amazon Music, Amazon Photo, Amazon 
shopping app store. Now we're getting into some of the aftermarket apps that um, we as providers, we have more apps on here than you're going to see on yours. Okay, so let's say for example that we were in, we can launch the app from here as well as from the home screen. So we can come down here, we can launch the app. Now if you run into buffering issues, what you'll want to do sometimes is hit your uh, home screen button on your remote and there's just a few buttons and it's a picture of a little house it's in the center but you'll want to come in here um, if you're having issues again come into here you can click for stop and then we can come down here and we can click clear cash and you can see in the lower right it says cash it's currently sitting at 29.29 megabytes you never want to ever ever want to clear data and you never want to hit uninstall. If you hit uninstall and clear data, it'll wipe out these apps, these aftermarket apps. So again, very, very important that you don't uninstall, you do not clear data. So you'll come into this, these settings here basically to force stop, clear your cache, or you can just use the, the main clear cache app that is going to come preloaded. Okay. And let me go back here. And that is really it for this video. That's just a basic walkthrough of the setup and uh, where to access your apps. And then of course, you know how to put it to sleep and you never want to reset the factory defaults and you never want to clear your data or uninstall if again, you're under the application settings, okay? Which is right here under manage installed apps. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, make sure you go to our website and click the contact us page and go ahead and leave your information. After you hit the submit button, uh, there'll be a, a message acknowledging that we've received your message and also our phone number will appear if you need to call us. Uh, calls are answered between 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. typically Pacific time. Have a great day. Thank you.